Jerome Boots Ennis will take on Karen Chukadzian for the second time in as many years on Saturday over in his hometown of Philadelphia after cantering to a pretty wide points decision win against the Ukrainian in their contest early last year. It's no surprise, whoever, to see Chukadzian get another bite of the cherry against Ennis. Um, seeing as he's only been, you know, the man to push Ennis all the way in a fight since 2017. Uh, not only that, but also the fact that, you know, he is coming off three straight victories himself uh, since that fight also, and is ranked number one with the ABF for Ennis' title, as well as number four with the WBO as well. Um, Boots Ennis enters Saturday's contest as the prohibitive minus 5,000 favourite in this one. Huge, huge price uh, with Karen Chikadzian coming back as a plus 1,600 underdog. Before we get into a best bet for this one, I just want to mention Wager Talk's Flex Picks deal, which is going on right now over on site. That's let lets you choose the handicappers of your choice for the days that you want, whether that be three days, seven days, or even 30 days duration. So uh, head on over to Wager Talk deals page right now for more information on that. Returning to the best bet for this one. And look, you know, Chikadzian really frustrated Boots and his last time out in their fight. You know, despite the fact that all three judges saw the contest, you know, wide. I think it was 120 to 108, 108, uh, I should say, across all three judges' scorecards. Um, you know, it was a frustrating night for Ennis. You know, despite a few lively opening exchanges, Chikadzian really settled into a defense first construct over the back half of the fight, especially. Um, Boots landed 102 power punches across the last six rounds to Chikadzian's 46. Um, you know, so that really tells the tale of the fight. Um, and it's difficult for me to see anything changing ahead of this rematch either. You know, Ennis is a finisher at the end of the day. We know that he owns a 90% plus kill percentage across his career so far. He showed how ruthless he was in last year's victory over a very tough Roman Villa. Um, you know, and he owns the third highest power connect percentage in the entire sport behind only the man he shares the card with on Saturday, Jesse Rodriguez. And Tank Davis as well. So Boots Ennis really is in some rare company at the elite end of the sport. In terms of a best bet for this one, though, you know, despite all that elite level finishing for Ennis, he simply, you know, he couldn't get the job done against Chukadzian last time out. You know, you could tell he was under pressure. He was looking to maintain that formidable knockout streak. Um, you know, it had been going on for years. And when you're on that streak and you're a young guy, you obviously want to you know, see it continue. Um, and you could see that frustration, you know, continue to build up as the rounds clocked by. Um, you know, he was getting extremely frustrated, constantly having to chase Chikadzian around the ring over the second half of the fight. But I don't believe, because of what we saw last year, I don't believe that same pressure will be on Ennis in this one. Um, you know, despite the fact that this fight has taken place in Ennis's hometown, you know, Chikadzian, despite being an extremely tricky customer, really doesn't bring much to bear in terms of offense. Um, and I believe it's going to be, you know, a more measured performance from Boots in this one where, you know, he doesn't try to force things like he did last time. Um, you know, kind of let things come to him. And I think we're going to see a more natural performance, a more mature performance from him as a result this Saturday. You know, I see this going very similarly to the first fight with, you know, the only exception being that Boots measures his work a lot more this time around, is more patient in the ring, you know, isn't as eager for that stoppage as he was last year, you know, doesn't try to force it. Um, and it'll likely come for him as a result, you know, in a bit of a paradox, Boots and is, is actually at his best when he isn't trying to force the issue. You know, you think back to how relaxed and loose he looked against Costio Clayton two years ago um, and against Villa la last year as well. Uh, and that really tells you all you need to know. So even with Chikadzian presenting a much more negative offensive style in this one than either of those two guys, I still believe Ennis will crack the code at some point this weekend. And I do really like the value with Ennis to win late inside rounds 9 to 12. A plus 500 on Saturday. Uh, really like that price. As, you know, I do believe he will finally catch up with Chikadzian at some point and break him down. So it is a tricky one this weekend. Um, Chikadzian is, is a very good boxer, uh, but I do like that plus 500 enough for, for Jerome Ennis to get the late stoppage across the last third of the fight, rounds 9 to 12 with plus 500, and that'll be a best bet for me for Saturday. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Is Boots Ennis 
in line for a big unification shot early next year. Maybe in a, maybe even a move up to 154 in the near future as well. Or Karen or can Karen Chikadze and pull off the unthinkable. That really would be the unthinkable this weekend. Um, and even the score between these two fighters. So uh, let me know down below. And as always, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. It's always appreciated. And until next time, slana wal ya, and best of luck on all your bets.